Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Arfat Mujib from FEI Higher Secondary Institute. Today I am with chapter number 15. Chapter is about stars and the solar system. And in this chapter, today my topic is how to discuss uh, celest uh, celestial bodies astronomy the night sky twinkling twinkling stars ye topics rahenge is chapter mein is chapter mein hum ye topic discuss kar lenge and it is 8th class sinus and include in the syllabus unit first and this is my first lecture about this chapter now we discuss about their uh, celestial celestial bodies. These are also known as heavenly bodies. Heavenly bodies. These heavenly bodies are found in a space, in a vast space. And some heavenly bodies are luminous in nature and some are non-luminous in nature. Luminous, kya hote hain, which have their own light and non-luminous hoge bodies in mein hain, which don't have their own light. Those objects which have their own light, they often are the sources of energy and they have the brightness they are visible to the eyes and those heavenly bodies we don't have their own light and they almost remains invisible to our eyes or they reflect the uh, light comes from the other luminous bodies after the reflection of those light because of that they become visible like the moon, like the other planets. So, in my say, kuch celestial body jo hai, luminous hote hai, luminous in nature, and others are non luminous in nature. In my body. Celestial bodies or those I name it here various planets or various planets revolving around the sun moons moon itself stars galaxies Meteors, asteroids, asteroids, comets, etc. I talk about the various celestial bodies which are found in their vast space and are the following celestial bodies or heavenly bodies are found in the universe universe is a vast unimaginable space which has far off distant and it is limitless and in this universe there are the collection of planets moons of planets, asteroids, Milky Way, galaxies, constellations, comets, meteors, millions of stars are in, included in the universe. Now, or the branch of sinus, 
be dealing with the study of these celestial bodies is known as astronomy. Astronomy is a branch of science hai, which through roughly study about such heavenly bodies, their position, their occurrence, their life history, their life span, their energies. So, both are study karte hai, and uh, it is the work of this branch of sinus astronomy and the scientists which belongs to the study of the astronomy are known as astronomers unko kaha jata astronomer wo bahut sare aajkal astronomers are working in exploring the vast space that is the universe where where in there are the millions and billions of galaxies stars moons planets they study these days about them their occurrence the new occurrence the spaces wherein they are located all about we study about their uh, about them under the branch of the sinus which is known as the astronomy now we say that during the day when there is a day, we have a huge star in the space that is the sun. Sun is the source of light as well as heat. Because of the sun and it is light, sunlight, there is the day. The day and night is caused by our mother planet, which is the third planet in our solar system. And due to its rotation on its axis, takes 24 hours to make one rotation. One rotation hence occupies one day and one night. In a day, there is the sun. The sun is a source of heat and light that rises in the east and sets in the west. During the sunrise, there is a day and other heavenly bodies remain invisible due to the brightness of the sun, due, due to the extensive intensity of light of the sun. Other heavenly bodies like moons, uh, stars, uh, other uh, bodies remain as invisible to our eyes because of the high intensity of light coming from the sun. That means the sun, when it rises, there is the morning, there is the noon, there is the evening. On the sunset, there is the evening and out of the evening, there is the night. Now, we have a day sky. On the day sky, we have a sun. Sun is a major source of light. It, it is considered a big star, huge in heavy in mass, huge in size, as a source of heat and light. They are called the day sky. And now there is the night sky. When the same the sun sets in the evening, the stars appear to twinkle. Twinkling in the ball, uh, in the atmosphere, in the sky, in this vast space, they are twinkling. During the night, the sun appears twinkling due to the refraction of light in the atmosphere. Although stars are not twinkling, they appear that they are twinkling because of the mechanism of refraction of refraction of light coming from the stars due to atmosphere there is a refraction of light because the dispersion and the stars begin to twinkling there are millions and millions of stars that remains visible 
at the night some sitars are most visible some are fad some are point in position some are larger in size some are with bright in light some are dim in light it is because of the position of sitars in the sky those sitars which are bright and highly visible to us they are very near to the earth's surface and those sitars which are which look uh, dim in light dim uh, dim in twinkling that they are far away in position in the sky that means the stars are some stars are close to the earth some stars are far away from the earth due to that the some stars like the point in pointed some stars appear bigger in size and visible to see stars why not stars remain visible during the day sky because of the abhi maine bataya ki high intensity of light of the sun sun ke high intensity of light ke karan jo uh, sun ki jo roshni hoti hai wo tez hoti hai stars ki roshni se stars have their own light stars are luminous bodies to sun ke high intensity of light ke karan स्टार्स के जो लाइट है वो इनविजिबल रहते हैं तो ड्यूरिंग द डे सन जो स्टार्स है दे रिमेन इनविजिबल टू आस ऑल दो दे आर सिटल इन द स्काई एंड ट्विंकलिंग इन द स्पेस एंड वी कैन से देर फोर द स्टार्स आर नॉट विजिबल to us on looking although they are brightly and clearly clearly seen in the at the night when there is no sun sun sets and they are appearing the twinkling of billions of stars stars have their own light they are luminous in nature because they have a gaze inside the stars which is the hydrogen gas stars ke bare mein hum baat kar lenge stars have stars have hydrogen gas present in them and they take place nuclear fusion jo stars hai these stars emit own light they are bright and visible to us in the sky because in me dekha jata hai they have the hydrogen gas हाइड्रोजन गैस के कारण जो इनके इनके अंदर हाइड्रोजन गैस होता है देयर टेक प्लेस न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन वैसे तो स्टार्स के अंदर देखा जाता है दे हैव वेरी एक्सटेंसिव हाई टेम्परेचर वेरी एक्सटेंसिव हाई टेम्परेचर इन डिग्री सेल्सियस एट दैट वेरी एक्सटेंसिव हाई टेम्परेचर डेट मीन कहा जाता है टू टू फाइव मिलियन डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर होता है इन द बॉडीज ऑफ द स्टार्स एट दैट टेम्परेचर देर टेक प्लेस द फ्यूजन न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन गैस एंड दे गिव इन देयर कोर core means center part of the star in the core of stars they take place in nuclear fusion of hydrogen gases and there is the formation of helium gas 
this helium gas when consumes it gives the light energy therefore the yes therefore the stars appears bright in bright in light they are bright they are visible they have they have their own light because of this nuclear fusion takes place at a very high temperature or in their bodies degree celsius and in the core there is a formation of helium gas due to the helium gas it burns and emits lot of heat energy therefore thus stars are the sources of heat uh, heat as well as the light energy why not the stars provide us heat energy because they are for of they are for most uh, uh, away uh, by the earth therefore heat energy heat radiation is are not uh, are not feeling uh, by us but the light is uh, light energy to have that comes to the surface of the earth and uh, these are the stars now jo stars hai among the stars one big star is the sun sun kaha jata hai it is one of the star which is huge in size and bulky in mass and and is a source of heat and light energy the sun which is very close to the earth's surface sun as a star as a big star remains close to the earth's surface rather than the other stars which are far off distant by the earth we can say that about the sun sun is a source of heat as well as the light energy and is itself considered as a big star sun jo hai it is a huge and big star as a source of heat yes and light energy it is close to the earth rather than the other stars which are billions in number sun is unique in the universe as the source of heat as light energy as considered as a big star it is close to the earth just we can say 150 million kilo meters it is far off from the earth just 150 million kilo meters from the earth earth is we can say earth surface it is far off 150 million kilometers and at this distance we feel the heat radiation and the light coming from the sun and the stars which are away from the sun they are very far away uh, by the sun sun is a big star which is close to the earth and one of the star is which is considered as close to the earth's surface that is the alpha centauri centauri alpha centauri alpha centauri is the nearest star nearest star to the earth it is nearest to star to the earth approximately it is number is that is i can say how near it is you can consider million kilometers ye nazdeek hai magar fir bhi aap dekho distance kya hai that is a 4 crore 68 uh, 6 lakh 87000 million kilometer 
is alpha centauri this is considered as the sitel nearest star to the earth ab is andaaz se aap pata lagao ki jo baaki stars hai ye ek star jo close to the earth hai aap dekhe value kya hai iska jo value hai kitna distance bhi iska hai earth se that is the 4 crore ha 6 lakh 87000 million kilometer sitel is far away from by the earth this star and other stars are sitel wo isse bhi zyada far away hai earth se go earth jo stars hai therefore they appears point in position they appears point in uh, shape pointed object because they are very far away by the earth to yahan dekhiye ab yahan hum sun ko earth ke sath compare karenge jo sun hai it is a major source of heat and light energy to the solar system and other planets or revolving around the sun in their own orbits including our earth is at a third number which also revolves around the sun if we here compare the sun and earth sun is we can say the sun is One million four hundred thousand, we can say kilometers, approximate in diameter. In diameter, ha, huh, to the earth. आप देखिए, अगर हम देखेंगे सन का जो साइज है, उसका that is in diameters. We take the dimension into diameter is one million. 400,000 kilometers वो भी approximately हम ये value ले रहे हैं इतना size में और इसके size डाय और इसके diameter से इतना ये ज़्यादा diameter है that means by the earth's diameter by the earth's diameter it is 109 times larger than the अर्थस शाबाश अर्थस अर्थस डायमीटर के हिसाब से ये कितना 109 गुना बड़ा है इस अंदाजे से आप लगाए पता कि जो सन है एज अ बिग स्टार कितना और सिर्फ बहुत बड़ा है आप ये डायमेंशन के कारण वैल्यू है अगर हम देखेंगे जो मास होता है जो सन है इट इज इट इज मैस्यू इन मैस्यू हेवियर इन मास देन द अर्थ अर्थ से भी ये हेवियर है और साइज के हिसाब से भी ये बड़ा है दैट मीनस वी कैन से अप्रोक्सिमेट दैट इज अ वेल्यू थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टाइम्स थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टाइम्स सन इज हेवियर देन द अर्थ इस अंदाज से पता लगाइए कि सन कितना और इसके कंपैरिजन में हेवी है हेवियर है इन इन द मास पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू और डायमेंशन के कारण भी ये कितना बड़ा है द सन ये जो सन जो है इट इज इन द सेंटर ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम दे आर फोर इफ इट इज सोर्स ऑफ हीट एंड लाइट एंड अदर प्लेन एट इज और रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सन यहां हमारे पास जो अदर प्लेन एटस है विच और रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सन दैट इज द मार्करी वीनस अर्थ मॉर जुपीटर यूरेनस नेपट्यून 
ये प्लेनेट है आठ प्लेनेट आते हैं दीज डेज विच आर रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सन एंड सन रिमेनस इन द सेंटर एंड अदर प्लेनेट आर रिवॉल्विंग ये मान लीजिए अगर यहां पे ये सन है सन इज द सोर्स ऑफ हीट एंड लाइट एंड अदर प्लेनेट इन द ऑर्बिट other planets i will say here the mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune these are the planets first one is the which is very close to the earth is a mercury then second is the venus third is the earth our planet which has life air water and soil unique in among the other planets four is the mars close to the earth five is the jupiter six is saturn uranus neptune these are the eight planets which are revolving around the sun which remains in the center in a solar system so solar system is also a part of a universe dear students i hope you understand about the following topics uh, um it was uh, my first lecture about this uh, about this chapter and include in unit first syllabus stars and the solar system i discussed the following topics i hope you understand about this thank you